Great work, Lara. Impressive. It's now time for Check Me Out, our weekly showcase of Nigerians doing amazing things home and abroad. Uh, this week, it's about Maya Hogan Famadu, a venture capital investor passionate about supporting tech startups in Africa. Maya is one of Forbes 30 under 30 entrepreneurs on the continent. Let's check her out. You can be radical and relentless as long as you are pursuing and committed to a purpose greater than yourself. My name is Maya Horgan Famodu, and I'm an ecosystem architect. Check me out. When you see the pepe inside, you know I'm Nigerian. My mom is Swedish American from Minnesota. My dad is Nigerian Nigerian from Ogun State. Omo Naija. My dad and all of his brothers moved from Nigeria to the US for a higher education. They all went to school at the University of Minnesota where they all met their Swedish Minnesotan brides and thus you have a generation of us. So coming to Nigeria, the first time, uh, I remember just getting to the airport and my father, you know, in his and his trad just coming to greet me. We go into the house, okay Maya, now you need to learn to fry plantain. I fried plantain, it was bad. It was very bad, but they ate it to be nice. <laughs> and rice, and then we went out for suya. And so the suya spice, the first time I tasted it, I said, okay, okay, this is almost on my level, because you know in America, you know Yankee food is bland. And so, you know that song, I got hot sauce in my bag, that's my life. Me, I take my pepe with me where I go, because my mouth is Yoruba, and so I like I need pepe when I'm eating my food. I grew to really understand the trials and hardships that an entrepreneur in Nigeria, in Africa, has to face that nobody else around the world has to face. And still, despite all of the wahala, all of the broken infrastructure, all of the lack of access to financing, all of the nepotism and, and competition, when they did succeed, they made it big. And so I went out at 23, with about a year and a half of professional experience, and I tried to raise a $50 million fund. I was like, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to find the people that want to invest in Africa with me. I didn't raise a single dollar. And so instead what I did was launch an advisory firm. I said, investors, don't give me your money up front. I'll take you to Nigeria. I'll take you to Ghana. I'll take you to the continent. I'll pre-diligence deals for you, and I'll introduce you to these companies, help you close the opportunity, and I'll look after your investments once you go back home. And that worked. So in 2017, we launched Ingressive Capital. And last year, from this $10 million vehicle, our very first fund investment sold to an international financial services firm for over $200 million USD. Last year as well, we launched Ingressive for Good, which is a nonprofit that provides university and micro scholarships, technical skills training, and talent placement for African youth. So we're not just training, we're finding jobs, we're increasing earning power. No matter who you are, who your father is, where you're from, what tribe you're from, if you're smart, you want to learn tech, you have what you need to do it. That is our goal. My name is Maya Horgan Famodu, and I am an ecosystem architect. You just checked me out. Hats off, Maya. Now to a quick reminder of our top story. We looked at the right of Nigerians to protest and the role of security agencies to maintain public peace, law, and order. And that's where we wrap up today's episode of the program. Many thanks for watching. You can check out more content from us at bbc.com forward slash Africa and channels tv.com. Until next time, I am Wally Fakile. Bye for now.